let me show you one of the easiest way you can revamp the look of your author box on WordPress. It's called Simple Author Box and it's on a lifetime deal. So let's go ahead and review it right now. What's up, everyone? My name is George and this is SAS Master. I want to show you Simple Author Box and show you what I like about it and I dislike about it. Now, what it does, it creates an author box that looks better than what you would normally have. Plus, you get flexibility of adding tabs like latest posts, the author, your social icons and customization for all this. OK, so right now it's on a lifetime deal and you can grab it for thirty nine dollars and there's a 60 day money back guarantee in case you don't like it. So the thirty nine dollars gets you access to 10 sites for the lifetime. All right. If you need more, you can stack and get more sites. And if you need unlimited stack two additional codes and you get unlimited websites. So if you're an agency, that might be a good idea. All right. So before I show you how to use Simple Author Box, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you're looking for a shared hosting plan, this is a good option. All right. So link we provided in the description. Go to hosting, web hosting, and you're going to find their shared hosting plans right here. Now, in this case, I must select the business hosting plan because I want to show you how to apply an extra discount coupon code. Now, once you're here, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months because you lock in the lowest price, lowest or no price, and you're good to go for 48 months. And this is the current price. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS master, the price is going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. So use my coupon code. OK, so the simple author box, I already have it enabled on this website. That's a demo site. And you can see here's my image. Here's my name. And I can add the biography right here, my social links and the latest post right here for this particular author. OK, so all of this can be customized inside of Simple Author Box plugin. Once you have it installed and enabled, you'll find it here in appearance. Simple Author Box. OK, the first settings you're going to find is the visibility settings. Now, first of all, one thing I dislike about this plugin is that I would like to visualize the changes that I make as soon as I tick these on or off. Some of them do display, but not all of them. And I would like for that to happen. And let's start off. So, for example, visibility, you can, for example, manually insert a simple author box. So that means that if I want to display it somewhere else that's not by default on a post, well, I can use a short code or the PHP code. That means that if I have a membership a plugin on my WordPress site, I can display it in certain places of that membership plugin by using the short codes or the PHP code. In this case, I'm not going to use that. All right. You can hide the author box on archive, which I think is a good idea. You, you don't want to display it there. Author box position. In this case, I've put it before the content just to show you guys. But by default, it's after content. The author name should link to you could say the author's website or none. So it doesn't create a link there. Show the author box on certain pages or just the post. In this case, it's set to post. Show author box on categories and tags, which I don't think is a good idea. And use custom biography, which I do like because it'll give you more context of what the author can do. This is just a demo site, so I won't enable that. All right. Then we have the element settings. So show author email. In this case, I don't think so, unless you want to enable that. Maybe you are. I don't know, a website for books and you want to have more information about the author. Well, you can have the email enabled there. Social icons in a new tab. Do you want them to open in a new tab? I say it's a good idea. So they stick on your page and go to the social media. Hide the social icons on the author box. So if you don't want to display them, go ahead and disable them right here. Right. Then you got your appearance settings, which I think, again, I would like to visualize this. You got your margins, which I think is a good idea to set straight from the beginning. For example, they are really tight where it comes with the content with the social box. So you have to give it some margin on top and the bottom. And then you got your margins from inside of the box. All right. You author avatar image 100 pixels. You want to make it bigger, smaller. Here's the settings uh, right now. It's set to fancy and it's like the fancy cutout that you're viewing right here. So if I want to make make it square around, etc., you got the options right there. Do you want to rotate effect like the one you just saw right now? Enable it or disable it, which it gives it a little nice touch. You got show author website. I don't think it's a good idea for this one, but you might have a use case. So social icon styles, you want to make them colored or you don't want to make them like uh, stand out. You can use symbols here and you got your social icon styles, squares, circles, etc. I'm going to change the circles this time. So, for example, that one did display automatically. And then you got your author box border style. You got your select author box. You got your background image to make something gradient so they look nice which I think is a good touch. Hide existing author box and more options. Let me go ahead and save this because I turned them to round ones. You can see they, they also rotate, which is a good idea. Also, the author box tabs. In this case, I've enabled the show latest post. It could be, for example, latest deals. You could change it to say deals instead of post, depending on how you want to use this. You got HTML for the custom 
uh, tab right here, tap colors and go ahead and save it. And this should be updated to the latest deals right there. Then you got your color settings by default. It's using the theme. You can change these right here. You got themes available. Now this, uh, these themes look really old. I definitely would like that they add new ones because these are, I would say unusable unless your site is like really old and this looks really nice, but they should really make something more modern for us to use, use themes and just avoid changing colors and styles because it, it already looks really nice. In this case, it doesn't look nice. So I think they really should work on that, right? So you got typography settings. It's using default, but you have all the changes right there you can make. The guest author, do you want to enable that? The advanced settings just for export, import, reset all. And the most important one, custom CSS, in case you really want to modify this box, it's a good idea, all right? But there you go. That is simple author box. I mean, my opinion, I think for the lifetime video, if you want to, have an author box that gives you flexibility of changes and making it look nicer. This is a good idea, but if it's not important to you, I think you should definitely skip on this one. This is just something like extra that you would like to see. Some of the themes that you already have might have these settings. So basically you can skip on this one, but if you want to have the flexibility of modifying your author box, then do go ahead and check it out. And don't forget that they have a 60 day money back guarantee in case you're not convinced, just go ahead and refund it. And if you plan to grab a hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code SASBASTER. And that's a wrap for Simple Other Box.